Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the GUI what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis Prokopiou and you are watching Drupal vs WordPress installation comparison. I will uh, create some videos regarding this comparison between Drupal and WordPress because many times I have been asked about it since I work with Drupal a lot. Uh, and uh, people that uh, know me have uh, quite frequently asked me about uh, my opinion about Drupal vs WordPress, what uh, I suggest that they should use, etc. etc. So I will create some videos and I will show you some uh, facts regarding some aspects of these two CMSs. Uh, and then you can decide whatever fits your uh, specific needs. Of course, I am a little bit biased in favor of Drupal because I work with Drupal a lot, but I will try to keep these videos uh, as unbiased as possible and just show you the raw data regarding these aspects that I'm going to touch upon. So, today this video is about uh, comparing the installation procedure between Drupal and WordPress and see how that goes. So let's star start our video. Let's close this and let's start here. As you can see, I have two virtual hosts uh, ready here for me. One is Drupal 8 and the other is WordPress. Uh, and now we will start the process of installing these two CMSs. So let's start with Drupal 8. Now if we come here and check where we are, we are in the Drupal 8 installation and specifically this is, this is the folder that uh, Apache is serving. This folder, the public HTML folder with this index HTML is this thing that we see here. So of course we have to get Drupal and install it in this folder. So we will come here, we will go a directory up and let's go get Drupal. So download Drupal. Right click, copy link address and let's w get this thing we got the zip and if we unzip it if we unzip this zip we will get this drupal uh, drupal folder so what we will do is we will, let's say, move the existing public to this and let's move the Drupal to public HTML. So in essence, our public HTML folder contains all the Drupal files. So let's cd into this folder too. And if we check, since we are working with root right now in order to be able to modify these files, the first thing that I will do is that I will change the owner of these files uh, to Apache. So what we will say is chown tasar um, no, sorry let me zoom, zoom in a little bit first of, of all. Now if you see we just changed all the files to www.data, the Apache user. So let's go to our browser here and let's refresh. We have a working Drupal instance. 
Uh, a small parenthesis that I want to make at this point is that uh, the process that I am uh, doing right now for Drupal is not the recommended one. If you see the Drupal here uh, and if you search a little bit, there is a Drupal project at GitHub which is the recommended way of setting up a new Drupal installation. But in order to keep it simple, I will follow this pure Drupal installation for now just to be able to compare these two installation processes. So let's continue here. Let's save and continue. We will uh, choose the standard installation profile. And now we have to provide the database name, uh, the database, uh, let's say, uh, info. So, first of all, let's create a database for this installation. So, what I will do is I will say MySQL E drop database d8 if exists and create database d8 not if exists here but here if exists ok we created a database so we can come here and say that we want the DA database and the user is root in this specific instance for me since this is a development environment. This is uh, a, a server, this is my workstation, which is a Debian server. And this is exactly the environment that you will have in a production server. I'm not using, as you can see, XAMPP or MAMP or anything. We are using the LAMP stack itself. We are using PHP Apache on a Debian Linux server. So this process is identical to what you have to do in a, li in, in a real production server uh, and not in any of these uh, platforms that you can develop like XAMPP or MAMP as I said. So let's uh, wait for the installation. Of course, I will link another video where I have a completely automated installation of Drupal since I work with Drupal predominantly. I have automated all this process. I uh, don't have to do anything manually, but in order to show the comparison in this uh, video, uh, of course, I go the manual way. How would uh, a regular user set up a Drupal installation for the first time? And the th we will do the same exact thing for WordPress. As you can see, by default, uh, Drupal installs quite a, a few stuff. I will not edit the video for those that will, uh, that want to check out the whole process. If you want, of course, you can fast forward and stop uh, saying that the video is long and slow as some say sometimes. 
If you want to see the, the whole process, you can see the whole process. If you don't, you can fast forward the video. It's too easy. The target, of course, of this video is to determine which of the two solutions, two of the which of the two CMSs is easier to install. This is th the target of this specific video. That's why we are comparing the installation processes between these uh, two systems. Uh, for now, as you saw, the Drupal installation did, did not include anything quite complicated. We got the, the files from the Drupal site. We place them in the right folder in our file system. We gave the right permissions and owner on, on the files in order to be able to write. Uh, we created the database and we started the installation. So I would say that so far so good, it, it seems quite easy as an installation process. The installation is progressing, as you can see. We are one step before concluding the installation. We are currently installing according to this uh, information here. And the last step will be to configure our newly installed site. So let's wait for a little bit longer in order for the installation to complete. The installation is a little bit lengthy, but Drupal gives us a lot out of the box and this will be the theme of another video that I will create uh, and that is why the installation is a little bit lengthy as I said. And as we can see we just finished installing and now we have to configure the site so we will say that this is a Drupal site, site email address, let's add my address for now, let's 
add an admin user for now we will use admin everywhere because we want it to be secure and I think we are done let's save and continue and we are ready we just installed the Drupal site and it's ready to go so that was the Drupal installation it took us about some mm, something more than 10 minutes 12 minutes something like that okay let's now initiate the WordPress installation let's change our directory and let's cd into our WordPress installation I have it already downloaded. This is the WordPress, but we will remove it and we will reinitiate uh, the process. So we will go here and we will say that we now we want to download WordPress. We will come here we will uh, copy the link address and now we will wget wordpress we have the zip so we will say that we want to unzip the latest zip and that will give us a WordPress folder. What we will do now is we will move our public HTML to public HTML back and we will also move the WordPress to public HTML and we will cd let's not cd into the public HTML let's say that we want to change owner recursively to www.data for the public HTML folder. So if we list the contents of public HTML you will see that everything belongs, belongs to www.data. Ok, so let's come here now and refresh and see what we will get we got uh, this installation screen so let's uh, select English and we have here this information welcome etc you will need to know the following items before proceeding database etc so let's go database name let's say that we want a WP database and of course we will have to create it so we will say mysql uh, e create database vp I'm not dropping a uh, database I'm, I'm not trying to drop the WP database because I'm sure that I don't have such a database ok we created a database the username will be root the password will be root uh, the host is localhost so we can submit alright Sparky you've made it through this part WordPress can now communicate with your database if you're ready time now to run the installation site title we will say that this is a WordPress site uh, username admin password admin confirm your email let's use our email uh, and let, let's install WordPress has been installed, thank you and enjoy. 
username admin password your chosen password login we want let's duplicate this we will not log in we will see the site for now okay this is the wordpress site and now let's try to log in let's say admin admin and we are in okay we successfully installed wordpress 2 we this took us about five minutes uh, so to come back to the target of this video which was uh, comparing the two installation processes uh, the only difference that I can see between these two processes is the time that it is needed for the installation process of Drupal compared to the installation process of WordPress. Drupal needs more time to install than WordPress. Apart from that, the installation process was quite the same. We had to provide uh, the database credentials. Uh, and that was all and configure the site so the installation process I repeat is the same is quite similar with the only difference is that Drupal needs more time to install since it provides more t uh, more stuff out of the box well this was the info that I wanted to share with you in this video if you enjoyed this video, you can hit the like button and you can share your thoughts on it in the comments. Moreover, if you like the content of this channel, you can subscribe by clicking the penguin that you see on your screen. Thank you for watching and have a great day.